Hey, in this video today, I'm going to give you my honest physical therapist review of the lower back pain back brace by Sparthos. I picked up this back brace from Amazon.com. It was very affordable and the reviews were solid. So I thought, let's review this and see what it's all about. As a physical therapist, I often recommend back braces to people suffering from various lower back pain problems, including disc herniations, slip discs, back spasms, stenosis, back arthritis, and several other conditions. And for the right person at the right time in their condition, a back brace like this can make a huge difference in helping them avoid medications and injections and avoiding surgery or at least delaying surgery. These back braces can allow people to become more active and feel a ton better each day that they have their back problem. So let me just give you an overview of this back brace. So it comes in this bag, which I think is pretty cool. I like that they're cutting down on all the boxes and, and the, the hard plastic packaging. Um, it's got some instructions on the back there on how to use it. And it's pretty self-explanatory. You strap it on. You do have to pick the right size. So uh, according to the measurement, I'm a large right here. So let's see if this fits me. I'm gonna cut this open. And then we're going to discuss how to use this bad boy and make sure that it's on right so that it gives you the right support. Now, using these back braces, you've got to make sure that, they're, that they fit well and that they give you the right kind of compression. And they should not hurt. What a lot of people do when they're putting on a back brace is they think that it should be really, really, really tight. And even to the point where it hurts, they think that it might hurt. But this back brace should give you pretty quick relief. You should put it on and almost instantaneously, within a few minutes, feel like it's gonna help you out. Um, if you don't have that experience, don't give up on back braces yet. You might just need to try a different one. Um, they're all different shapes and sizes because people are all different shapes and sizes. So you might need to test two, three, four back braces out before you settle on the one that's going to work best for you, if it's going to work for you, because they don't work for everyone. I do have to stress that point. We do have people that try it out and they say, nope, I didn't like the back brace. I'd rather do without. And that's totally cool. Everyone, everyone's different. And if you are one that will respond to a back brace, you're lucky because you have a nice cheap alternative to using medications and injections. All right, so I just took it out of the packaging. This is what it looks like. And it's got really good material. I like this material. It's better than the ones that I've seen at the stores here locally. It's got massive Velcro strips there and a nice little, it's that soft Velcro. The, this is like the hard part of the Velcro. It's not that really pokey one. So this isn't going to mess up your clothes. That's really nice. And, and then you've got the, the double straps. That's how these are. This is really cool here too. I like this breathable kind of window fabric here. It's on all over the back because I don't know about you, but uh, I live in El Paso, Texas, which is desert. I mean, summers, it's not um, abnormal. It's normal, in other words, to have 100 degree weather most of the summer for two to three months a year or sometimes four months a year. Now, one cool feature about this as well is it's got this little extra lumbar support that you can remove or put on. I'm going to leave it on just to see how it feels. I'll, I'll test it with and without. All right now I'm gonna put this brace on. So of course the logo is gonna go on the outside. That little back brace, that removable back brace is gonna go on the inside. And this is unique. I don't see very many back braces that have this deal. So it's, it's real soft by the way. It's, a, it's just like an extra pad shaped in this upside down triangle. And I don't know, this makes me think that it goes on your tailbone on your sacrum, but it's just supposed to go on your low back, not on your tailbone. Let's put it on. So initially you take off these outer straps here and you're just going to put on the inner strap and it should be snug. Not too snug, just lightly snug. Oops, putting it on wrong. See, this was so soft, this, the hard part of the Velcro that I thought I had it on the other side and then it didn't damage my shirt and these, these shirts get damaged very easily with Velcro, didn't do a thing to it. All right, I'm barely the right size. The Velcro overlaps here and, and uh, I use a size 34 waist pants. So just to give you an idea of what size you might be, male of course. And um, 
then you put these on so this one you you, sin you can cinch them on one at a time or both at the same time whatever works best for you and there you go so i am supported now and i do feel like it just takes this load off my back not that i had any back pain thankfully but but it just feels way more supported over here and it's comfortable and if i sit down with it it doesn't cut into me now this fits my body type i'm probably uh, a, a normal body type for my size uh, you know if, if you're a little heavier or if you're more curvy um, I, I can't speak to if this will fit a female there are back braces out there that are specific for women that are curvy so you might look at that but it's like I said at the very beginning you have to test a few back braces in order to find out which one's gonna work best for you so if you just bought one back brace from your local store or you ordered one from online and it didn't work for you don't give up yet instead of relying on pain medications or going to the doctor for injections um, don't give up on back braces return that one most are returnable and give another one a shot try a different back brace now some pros about this is i love the materials this looks pretty sturdy uh, i mean if you're wearing this day in and day out this will probably give you close to a year's worth of of a uh, use this this back brace um, i've I've had many back braces over the years just being a physical therapist working with patients it's inevitable you you deal with these kinds of things and um, I've had patients bring in their back brace of course and some of them look all tattered and and the, you know the velcro gives after a while um, but this looks like high quality stuff so I think you're you're gonna spend your money well in getting this particular back brace and putting this on with the back support I think that's another pro here that little extra pad it feels nice it's very comfortable now let me just put it on without real quick to see if i can tell a big difference i felt it back there so i think it's it's actually very nice oh this way and then let's get this one on yeah i don't feel it back there and it just feels a little a little less supported to me actually i think that I like it better with that little pad, um, but that gives you options with this one. At least you have the, the choice to put this on or not. So I think that's a really neat pro because your body type might not like this little pad. You could slip it out and you might be more comfortable without it. I feel like it breathes better too. Um, uh, it's pretty cold in this room right now and I just feel the, the cool air hitting my back a little bit more than when I had this on. Now to give you the cons, I think the main cons here are you've got to pick the right size. Um, like this one, I feel like I, I might be able to go a little bit snugger. It feels okay, but I have this, this thought in my head of what if I get a size smaller because I'm right on the edge of the large. Maybe I should go with a medium, but then I'm thinking maybe the medium would be too big. I, I don't know. Um, I, I would see how my back feels. If, my, if I had a back problem, if I was in this brace and, and you had my body type and you're like, oh wow, it, it barely fits me. I'm actually a little too small for this brace. Um, then you might try the medium, get it anyway, but um, this one you can uh, uh, give it a shot see how your back works and the nice thing with Amazon is you can return things if you don't you know as long as you don't um, wear them too much or they don't look too worn um, you can usually take them to like Kohl's or Whole Foods and they'll return it for you You start the return process online so it's really cool the next con is you can't rely on a back brace now this is a really good option for you to avoid taking medications and injections and having to visit the doctor all the time or if you like you got to go see somebody for your back constantly at the beginning of a back problem but this is not going to solve the long-term problem especially if you have a more chronic condition like a stenosis problem a disc herniation arthritis those specific problems do take some extra digging you need to fix the root of the problem and we've got help here on this channel we actually make a bunch of videos on exercises on education on, on how to think about how to move differently uh, for your specific problem and we've linked playlists for disc herniations back arthritis and stenosis down in the description below so if you have any of those issues and you're looking for how to fix the root problem go down and check that out and we also have a program called the 28 day back health and wellness boost program which is centered on fixing the root problem that usually sets up all these issues that i just talked about it's a 100 percent online program that you can access anywhere anytime as long as you have an internet connection you can do it on your phone on your computer however you like um, and begin to get the right exercises the right movements the right mindset and treatment approach 
so that you can begin to fix the root problem so that you might avoid an unnecessary surgery and relying on injections and pain medications. Now the last con is body shape. You just have to deal with your body shape and figure out what, what works best for you. Um, and especially if you're a curvy female or you might be a curvy male, that happens all the time, this brace might slide up on you because if you have wider hips, smaller waist, it might go too high. I'm more straight in my hips and waist, so it sits just fine and it doesn't feel like it's gonna budge if I start to walk around or get active in this brace. Now let me give you my honest opinion as a physical therapist. I think this brace is solid. I think you should get it if you're trying out back braces to see if which one's gonna work for you. The materials are awesome. I love the breathable structures in the back. I love the option of having this little pad in there uh, if you need a little more support just so you can try different things out. Braces like this keep you going. If you're an active individual, you got a busy life, a, a busy work schedule, especially if your work requires you to be active on your feet, moving around, a brace like this can help you continue to get through the day so that you don't miss work, so that you don't miss your personal life and have to go lie down or sit down on the couch and, and just chill, relax for a while so your back doesn't get really bad. Braces like this are phenomenal. And maybe your back problem isn't real severe, just kind of comes and goes. If that's the case, I would get a brace like this and keep it in your closet at home use it like you would use Tylenol or, or Advil or one of the other medications you might be taking when you, whenever you get a flare-up of back problems. Go to this first and see if this gives you enough relief before you start taking a medication that has long-term implications for your organs. You don't want to be damaging your organs um, with those pain medications. But you know if you need to take it, you need to take it. But this is an excellent alternative. In my opinion, this back brace is essential if, you're, if you have a family history of back problems, or of course, if you have your own personal history of back problems. Hey, and by the way, my name is Dr. David, and I'm a specialist physical therapist at El Paso Manual Physical Therapy. And this channel is dedicated to helping people stay healthy, active, and mobile while avoiding unnecessary surgery, injections, and pain medications. We make helpful videos with advice, tips, exercises, and stretches for a variety of problems especially back problems. So again, go check those out in the description below. I've also linked a research article that shows the latest research on back problems in case you're one of the nerdy types that, that needs to see that. I'm that kind of person anyway. And there's limited research on these back braces, but it's promising. It shows that it is helpful for people. Um, we don't know the long-term effects and there's a lot of unknowns, but your personal experience is going to be your number one guidance on how to help your back problem. But I can tell you for the cost and the investment as far as time and commitment, this isn't a permanent thing. It's not like getting the surgery. You're not putting chemicals in your body. I absolutely love back braces for back problems. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.